Welcome back trainers. Today on our installment on our road to rank 10, we are showcasing two teams here. I tried a little bit of editing here in the middle. It might be a little rough, but we tried our best, but I hope you liked the video otherwise. But I started out with this team right here. I really wanted to try out S Cavalier and I know Cresselia is a boss, but I really did not particularly like this setup, but we'll, we'll get through the battles here. We have Cresselia against Garatina, which is a good matchup. I mean, Shadow Sneak does hurt, but we want to get that debuff off on our Moonblast. Or at least get some shields out of this. But see, that Shadow Sneak does take a good, decent amount of damage away from me. All right, we're going to go for a Moonblast here. We're either going to get a shield, take a lot of energy. We do get the first shield. Okay, that's great. But we did not get the debuff. So that is not ideal again, because they're going to beat us to every charge move. And I'm debating if I want a shield here. And I do, which in the end, it probably was a bad idea. Because they end up switching out to Empoleon. Alright, so we're going to get this Moonblast off. Hopefully get the debuff. And we do not. So we're going to bring in this Cavalier here to farm this thing down. I almost, if I didn't use that shield in the beginning, I could have probably committed to the farm down. But we're just going to use a drill run right here. He's going to let it go down. We both have a shield. Now Garatina comes back in. We're going to try to get as much damage as possible off on that thing. And another little bit of lag there. I guess they didn't fix much on this uh, server change, huh? But anyway, we got Drill Run connects. This is not going to take me out, but it's going to be very close. Yep, and we're going to try to get to another Drill Run before we're taken out, but we are not able to. That is not ideal. So I think we're going to bring in Cresselia again. We're going to let the switch timer go down a little bit. Cresselia comes back in. They got a Shadow Sneak ready. Again, not ideal, but we're going to let that go through. And try to get to a moon blast here. It's probably going to get the last shield. And I was thinking in my mind, do I want to swap out on the moon blast? But we got to see if they're going to take it. And they actually shield it up. Okay. And this moment, I should have swapped. But they decide to use their energy. Okay. That's fine too. But I should have definitely swapped and saved my Cresselia. And now we're going to bring in Swamp right here. We have a shield. So we guys going to see what's in the back. We're going to let all this go through. I'm not quite in Hydro Cannon range, but we're trying to build up a two, which was probably my my downfall this match. I probably should have just shot right away. But now we're down in the yellow, or at least shielded one of those, I think. But anyway, Hydro Cannon should just be enough to take this thing out. Uh, not quite, but these next couple much though, she tries to switch, and it's Clefable. See, we needed this Swamper for the back, and we're going to die with a shield. So, this is not great. I was trying to save that shield as best as possible, but if we would have shielded up one of them Dragon Claws, I think it would have been an even closer match. But, good games, trainer. Alright, off to an 0-1 start. So, what do we have next? We have Kieta. I can't even... K -k 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 Kieta. <laughs> I guess that's how you say his name. We got another Empoleon. Okay, in the lead this time. This is not great for Cresselia, but we're both... Pretty much doing neutral damage. To, no, not neutral, but we're doing not so much damage to each other. I mean, Hydro Cannon is neutral, but it's going to take a while to get there. So, Waterfalls will start to add up, but we're going to try to get the attack debuff off. And we're going to try. We're going to let this first Hydro Cannon go through. And it does a decent amount of damage. And I should have swapped right into my Escavalier probably at this point. But I wasn't too sure about this matchup, and I really wanted to get the attack debuff on this Apollyon. And now we're, uh, we're trying to swap out. Once again, we did not get the attack debuff. Another Hydro Cannon coming through. Puts us in the red. Now we're going to swap out and try to farm this thing down. And they're going to swap into their Garatina. N not great for us. I mean, a lot of their moves aren't going to do that much damage. But Shadow Sneak is neutral. Okay, these drill runs are also neutral. And they will start to add up. I'm debating if I want to shield the one. And I do, which I probably should just let my Escavalier go down, to be honest. But we're going to try to chip away at this Garatina here. And they decided to match my shield. That is not good. Alright, well, it's kind of good, but we don't really have a Garatina counter other than my Cresselia on this makeup right here. So this is that's pretty much my downfall of this team. I mean, if Cresselia in the lead doesn't take out the Garatina, then I'm pretty stuck. So... Now we're going to bring in Swampert, I believe. Yep. 
And we're out of shields now. And these Dragon Claws will start to add up. And they still have a shield, so this is not looking great. So I go for the bait. And that's the only thing I can do right at this moment. Because I'm hoping to get the shield. Alright, and they swap out on their Empoleon. But I took him out with a much shot. Okay, I was a little bit of lag. I was crazy. Okay. And we should have shot that Hydro Can off right away. But now we're going to have to go almost down to this Dragon Claw. We're going to get the shield here, I believe, from this Hydro Cannon. Yep. And now we're going to try to swap and hit do a double move here with the Drill Run. This should be enough to take it out. Almost. But these next couple counters should be enough to take... Yes, it is. Great. And we got a little bit of energy on our S Cavalier. And we got a Snorlax. That's great. I don't know if I should have went for Megahorn, to be honest. But we're going to try to get as much damage as we can off on of the Snorlax. We needed this S Cavalier in the end. And now he has a loaded Snorlax. And we're going to try to go for this Hydro Cannon and see if this will be able to take it out. We have not enough health on this. Oh, it's so close. And they go for their Body Slam. That was actually got a lot closer than the... It looked like it was going to be, but <clears throat> at this point, I was like, all right, this is it. I'm done with this team right now. I'm going back to what I know. So, good games, trainer. Now, we're going to go back to my Artie team here. See, this is my transition. I try to get my transition with the on the side better, but it's really hard with the program I have, but it's all right. We'll get, to, we'll get better at it, but we'll get the transition in here we got Articuno against Giratina there goes my new team on the side and see a little clunky I'm sorry but we got it and we got an icy wind I don't, so often you see a swamper get switched into Articuno especially with energy advantage you're not gonna get your hydro cannon off before my icy wind and it's definitely not a counter but it's all right I'll take it all right we're gonna get, get hit with these hydro cannons we're not gonna shield these I think I'm gonna shield this one actually yep because I want to preserve my health on my Articuno. And we're going to Icy Wind again on this Swamper. It's either going to take it out or we're going to get a shield out of it. And then it's going to be taken out. Our next Ice Shard is going to take it out. Let's see what they have in the back. It's going to be a Muck. So I'm going to bring in my Swampert here. We still have a shield. And we're not going to shield the first one. We just want to get this uh, Articuno back lined up with that Garatina. And there's the Garatina. I don't know if I'm going to shield this or not. No, I'm going to let it go. And now I'm going to go for an Earthquake, I believe. Yep. Either it's going to get the last shield. Or it's going to do a lot of damage. And he gets the last shield. Oh, it was the first shield. I'm sorry. We're going to try to get to another Earthquake, but we are not able to, I figured out. So we're just going to get a little bit of chunk damage on this thing. Chip damage, chunk damage, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> All right. And the Garatina takes us down. We're going to bring back in our Articuno here, I believe. We'll wait for the switch timer to go up a little bit. All right, no, we bring in our Garatina. We have uh, the energy advantage, and we're matching shields. So now he's going to swap into his muck. So I'm going to swap into my uh, Articuno. I kind of figured they had a Garatina counter. So that's why I wanted to swap into my Garatina. All right, now we're going to try to get as many icy winds as possible off on this thing. We're not going to shield it up because we got the icy wind off first. Dark Pulse does a decent amount of damage, but we should be able to get to an Icy Wind before we are taken out. Yep, this is going to be very close to taking out the Muck. We're not going to shield anything. Oh, they use their last shield. Okay, that is great. All right, they're going to have to use their energy to take us out. We're going to let the Articuno go down. Thank you for your service. And Garatina comes back in. We have a Dragon Call ready. That should just definitely be enough to take it out. They should have probably committed to the farm down on my Articuno, so that way they hadn't. But now I have a shield against their Garatina. We're going to shield this one up. And now I should just take a Dragon Claw and a couple Shadow... Dragon Claw and a couple Shadow Claws to take out this Garatina. It's like a tongue twister in the morning here. Alright, Dragon Claw going through. A little bit of lag again. Every time this happens, I always think it's going to be a third shield. I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about that. I get so nervous. I'm like, oh, it's not going to do any damage. But this time I went through and they saw what the writing... I think they just either saw the writing on the wall or they got the lag. But either way, it was going to be a win. So we got our first win of this set. And I'm like, all right, this is why I love this team. I'm just so much more comfortable with it. So we're going to get into game four here. 
Okay, it's Boog, Boog 1E, Boog 1E. Oh, it's actually Boogie. Ha, <laughs> I see what they did there. Funny. Okay, it was Boogie away on this Garatina. Articuno, it's a great matchup. Let's see if they stay in this thing. Sometimes they stay when they have agent power, but they're going to swap out. That's fine. I'm going to icy win this this uh, Reggie before I swap. That's totally fine with me. Now you're stuck in there with a decreased attack Reggie Steel. So I'm going to bring in my Swamper. Looking good. So we're going to see if this... I, I should have built up to an Earthquake. And then if they shielded, just decide then. But I just decided I'm just going straight Hydro Cannon on this thing since it's debuffed. And they just flash cannon me. Okay, I thought that was a bait. You'll see right here. I thought maybe he only had flash cannon because he's going to go for another flash cannon. And I shielded it because I thought it was going to be a focus blast. And it would have done a decent amount of damage to me. So I decided to shield. It's just another flash cannon. Okay, now we're going to commit to the farm down here. Because I know they're not going to be able to get to a focus blast or if they even had it. I don't think they actually had it. And now Garatina's going to come back in here. Now, I think I'm going to bait Earthquake again. No, I'm going to swap out with all that energy. Bring in Articuno again. And they're going to swap into their Gyarados, which is fine with me. We're going to Icy Wind the hell out of this little red, beautiful snake dragon. <laughs> and here, it's just not a great matchup for him. Crunch is going to do very little damage to me. Dragon Breast will start to add up, but we got the Icy Wind off. See, that didn't really even get me into the red so we're going to be able to get to another icy win before we're taken out i'm fine with garatina against garatina in the back in the end game that's all and they gave us their a shield that's great okay and they decided not to farm us down which that's okay crunched my articuno away now i'm going to bring back in my swampert i believe or i'm going to bring in my garatina to farm down i'm not sure remember what i did we're gonna bring in a garatina to farm down Aggressive farm down before we get hit with a crunch. Okay, we have all this loaded energy against their Garatina. And we still have that loaded Swampert in the back. So this is looking great. All right, we get their last shield, and we still have a shield. They have a Dragon Claw before they get to their first charge move. Also awesome. This is looking good. Dragon Claw goes through, got them down in the yellow. Now we're in Earthquake range, no matter what happens. I'm going to save this shield. Now I'm going to swap into my Swampert and just hit that first... Earthquake, and it should definitely be enough to take it out. I love doing those swaps. This is why we save that energy. All right, good games. Much like night and day between my my first two matches and the last two matches, huh? I just this team is so much better, so much more flowing. Fluent is that the word? Fluent. But yeah, we got a next game, the last game against Hero X. Let's see if we can pull out a positive set. Can we get some three and two vibes down in the comments? Three and two vibes, baby. We got Swampert in the lead. This is ideal for us again. But they're going to get their first Hydro Cannon off. So I usually shield the first Hydro Cannon. But I didn't. Because that's going to do the most damage. But I, I don't want to... I want to save these shields. So we're going to Icy win. It's still a positive matchup regardless. Their attack fell now. Now their next Hydro Cannon is not going to do as much damage. I, I don't know. I should have. I don't know why I shielded the second one. Like, I sh if I was gonna plan on shielding, I should have shielded the first one. But anyway, it's all right. I got to shield out anyway. Now we're gonna go for another icy wind, and they shield it. That's great. Okay. And now I gotta swap out their Charizard. So I'm gonna go right into my Swampert. This is an ideal situation for us. Blast burn is gonna do a lot of decent amount of damage. Even though it's not effective, that's just, just a, such a ch such a chunky, strong move, boy. They still haven't fixed the animation on it, but it's such a strong move. Almost one shots. That's Charizard. We're gonna mud shot that thing down. See what comes back. Gramble. Okay, we do not want that thing on our Garatina, so we're gonna try to hydro cannon this thing as much until we're taken out. All right, they still have one shield. We're gonna try to get to another hydro cannon, but we are not able to. So now we're gonna bring in our Articuno. See if we can get to an icy win before we get hit with a crunch. That over tapping boy, and we do get it off. This will be enough to take out this Gramble, unless he decides a shield, which is okay with me. So I'm going to match this shield, I think. I think I'd farm this thing down. So I do not want this thing on my Garatina. And they do. Okay, and we get CMP tie. Hmm. 
All right. It's going to take us out. So now we have Garatina in the back, and we should be able to find this thing down. And they saw the writing on the wall, so good game, Strainer. We ended up with 3-2 and two at the end of this set. 3-2 and two vibes, baby. I'm going to stick with this team for at least until it doesn't work, because I really enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry about the little editing problem in the middle. I tried my best to make it as fluent, fluent, fluent as possible. But uh, we'll learn. We'll get there. But hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, if, please like, comment, and subscribe. And see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. This is what I ended the day. So and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Jersey Tooth out. Bye-bye now.